I'm in Baku, Azerbaijan. It is a Wednesday morning. I'm getting ready to go work out. And it was a long trip getting here. It's been an especially long five days. I was in the Black Hills of South Dakota over the weekend before I took off. So Friday, I drove all day to the, to the Black Hills. Saturday, excuse me, had a bus tour and it was awesome. Loved it out there. Definitely want to go back and visit and see everything again. And then on, uh, drove home, so, well, drove to Colorado Sunday, then flew out Monday and traveled over 24 hours to get here to Baku. So now we're staying at the Crescent Beach Hotel and Resort. It's pretty nice. Here's Spencer. Say hi, Spencer. Hey. And then you can see the Caspian Sea right there. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Hold on. I got some more of you to show you. It's a lovely sea, you know, real pristine. And oh, wait, what is that? An oil rig? Man. That water's got to be horribly nasty. There's some guys who were a couple years ago saying that they saw doo doo just floating in the water. And, you know, I worked in Wyoming for a while, worked with the rigs. Sometimes they get kind of nasty, so I'm sure that water's, the water's pretty gross check it out later today but I mean it was well, a nice view at least this is where we're practicing pretty big complex we're in a complex with this nice looking building we had to go through a security gate to get here it's like their wrestling team is pretty well funded oh wow this is nice Look at all these mats. Let me start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. Jeez. We got 14 full size wrestling mats in here. <laughs> That's awesome. And then they got their, like they got their national team and everything. This is really cool. This is part of practice. Maybe that guy's got a lift. Anyway, it's just pretty cool. They got all these guys in this huge room. This is some of our team working out. This is fun. This is awesome. It'd be nice if we had something this big in the US. If it was that popular to where we have a facility to necessitate this. Wait. Oh. That's something. One of my favorite times of day, lunchtime. Got some soup, some fruit, and salad, and a little beef over rice. Let's take a quick look at this buffet spread we got. It's a pretty nice place. I really like it here so far. See good food. You got your fruits, cheeses, some vegetables, sweet stuff, salads, and of course. Your main dishes, what we got, we got beef stew, rice, um, roast chicken, spaghetti, potatoes of gratin. It's the meal of champions, awesome. We are in downtown Baku, Azerbaijan. We just got a ride in the shuttle. Came down here and checking out some of the Square, you can see some different monuments and fountains. Just saw a statue. But we also have this old citadel wall that looks very historic. And there's some statues over there of the founders of Azerbaijan and Baku. It's very lovely here. It's really hot. It is so hot. I'll probably be sweating so bad really soon. Do you want rugs, my friend? I have a special price for you. You can get this rug for only 500 manat. Some 
looks like some historic bills. Money. Oh, this is all Soviet Union stuff. See? That's stuff left over from the Soviet Union. Yeah, this is all Soviet stuff. Let's see, and rugs. Rugs as far as the eye can see. Well, at least up halfway that end of the street. Found some shoes for buyers. You might like that. I think you'd love that stuff. One of the trinkets we got. Some figurines. Soviet hats. More trinkets. Oh, here's Alibaba's lamp. Waiting for the genie to come out. Okay, I might be waiting for a while, so I won't wait. Let's see. It's got some other stuff. Oh, Matryoshka. Yeah. Playing Frogger. Just walk in between the cars one at a time. Hopefully, you don't get hit. Look at all that traffic. Look at these parking jobs. People just pull up find a spot and unlikely that anybody's going to get out uh, when they want to. I think you just got to go when everybody's going. So if you're not ready to go, it's too bad. You're just going to have to wait it out. A little closer to these historic figures. The guy on the right started Baku. The other guy took it over after him. Then a lady who was really nice. She's kind of like the Mary Curie of Azerbaijan. The other guy is the other guy is Alibaba. He had a genie, the magic lamp. The guy in the end, I think he was a preacher. And here's monuments to all of them. And then that guy, the top of the steps. He's uh, I don't know who he is, but he's. Maybe he's the guy that started Baku. Here's some more of the square. There's that carousel. So that my daughters aren't here, we can jump on that. Merry-go-round. But as you can see, this is a pretty nice area. Nice park, nice square, modern stores, modern stuff. It's amazing how this place has changed. I was here four years ago. And it seemed like they were just doing construction all over. Nothing had really been finished yet, but now it seems like they've finished some things. And it's really nice. I mean, they got a ton of oil here. they are uh, got a bunch of money right now, and they're just really putting back in and building things up. Amazing how fast things can change in a few years. As you can see, obesity is alive and well all across the world. McDonald's is even in Baku. And uh, you can, if you can get a Happy Meal, you're in good hands. So one thing you notice, is if you look at all the men, you will not see any wearing shorts, except for Jordan and for me. So like women will wear skirts and dresses and jeans, but men do not wear shorts. That's a no-no, I guess. Also, we knew that coming out. We knew that coming out. Somebody told us that, but it's just interesting to see that. Really, no one wears shorts. No men wear shorts. Then, if you're feeling romantic, this is where you buy clothes. See? Weird. So, this thing said open until we came in here, and it's just like a couple stores and people hanging their laundry and a uh, and, uh, swimsuit place. We're heading back out. Made it to the toy store and all the toys here are the same toys in the US. You got Disney dolls and stuffed animals and Barbies and Whatever. And really, in the end, they're all made in China anyway, so. You would. You look pretty good. Mini ping pong. That's kind of cool. 
That would be very tough to play. You got mini ping pong, mini uh, air hockey. Nice. Well, McDonald's. And the security guy at the front was like, no, you can't film in here. And there were so many people in there, and they had these nice benches, nice couches in there. It was weird. They had like three security guards in, in McDonald's. It's, I guess it's too high class. You can't take a flip camera into McDonald's in Azerbaijan. What a bummer. On a brighter note, look at this fountain. Cut to lovely fountain. So behind me is part of our hotel. They got another restaurant over here. Outdoors in the back. Looks like there's a band setting up. Pretty fountain here and another eating area here right on the beach. I'm going to walk over to the beach a little bit. I mean, the beach is... looks pretty nice. These, uh, all these rigs kind of detract. Right, I think see there's some people swimming. Let's go get a closer look at this. This little playground set my daughters would love. Well, frankly, would love it most. Bristol's still too little for slides and stuff. We we'll see we got our beach here, and then you got one, two rigs. Three rigs. Looks like it's really busy down there though, a whole lot of people. Which is kind of funny because that rig is close to it. Crazy. But that's uh that's it, here's the shop from the back side. So it's nice being by the water, but I don't think I'm going to get in it. I worked on some rigs before, and uh, it can be pretty messy, and I'm sure here they don't have really strict environmental, a very uh, strict environmental protection agency. So there's probably plenty of garbage just floating out in there. So I'll just have to wait till I'm somewhere else to go swim in. But you don't see a whole lot of bands with accordions, do you? Well, now you have.